Welcome to Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm Josh Cohen. I'm Carter Burquest. Today we're talking about our Minnesota Vikings. Just lost their second game in a row. At least this time it was to a better opponent. So it wasn't quite as embarrassing, although that defense was a little embarrassing. So let's do a panic scale from one to 10. How concerned are you about these Vikings? Yeah, that's a good question. It's tough because this is definitely not the position we saw uh, or thought we'd be in at this point, especially with the fact that what's been the problem is the thing we've been so reliant on the last few years, and that's our defense. They've looked extremely leaky, uh, extremely subject to a lot of different things that we haven't seen over the course of the few years. So um, panic meter, I don't think it's time to hit the panic button yet. I may put it at a five, just because of how amazing Kirk Cousins has looked up to this point. I mean, he's lived up to every little bit uh, of that $84 million contract that we paid him, and it's been fun to watch a legitimate uh, top-tier quarterback, and I think he's proving why we paid him that much money. But it is concerning watching the defense because it's just a lot of busted coverages, a lot of miscommunication. I'm hoping uh, Zimmer can get it figured out and lean back on the last four years of a good defense that we've had. Um, but Against the Rams, it looked really concerning, and I'm not going to lie, it got me a little nervous. Wow, I, I thought that I would have to talk you down from the ledge, because you're usually the one that's a little more panicking here about the Vikings and usually more negative and concerned. I think the panic meter, the level of concern, depends on where your expectations were for this team. I thought we were going to make a good make a Super Bowl run and contend for our first title ever. So if you look that as my scale, then my panic's at like an eight or a nine. Like I'm concerned that this is not a Super Bowl winning team. This is not a team that I thought I'd expect to see. And like you said, it's because the defense is not where I thought it was gonna be. The offense, if it was slower coming along and we're losing games like 14 to 12 or something like that and our offense just couldn't get things going, I wouldn't be nearly as concerned because I know that the defense will be there. We have a new offensive coordinator who didn't call the plays in Philly, so it might take him a little bit. And we have a new quarterback, so he's trying to figure things out. I wouldn't be as concerned, but the fact that our defense has been letting us down, I don't think that Mike Zimmer's been figured out. I don't think that uh, his approach is too old school and he can't keep up with the new things. I think he'll figure it out, but I do think that teams are taking advantage of our aggressiveness. And that concerns me a little bit because now we're in the season. If we had figured in, in training camp some ways to maybe do things differently, Zimmer's gonna have to adjust on the fly. I think he can adjust. I think we're still gonna win the division. I, so obviously I think we make the playoffs still. We can win 10, 11 games. My concern for making the playoffs, I'm not concerned. That's like a three or a four right now. But as far as being the team that we thought we were gonna see, the best defense in the league, a very good offense that has a shot to make a Super Bowl run. I'm very concerned. This offensive line that we knew was a concern, the defense we did not expect to be a concern. I am concerned about our, our chances when we get to the playoffs. I'm not saying that things can't change. I'm not saying Zimmer can't adjust. Uh, right now, I am concerned. Yeah, I mean, I think to your point, to get to the Super Bowl, it seems like at least the last few years, you've got to have home field advantage and you've got to have a first round bye as the last years have proven those are the teams that are making it to the Super Bowl. And we're starting to fall where we're not going to have a shot at that. So we really got to right the ship here. 13-3 um, and three got us the number two seed last year. I think Zimmer will right the ship. He's always a, a coach that seems to have really good second half adjustments. So maybe he can make some adjustments on the fly here with the 10 day break in between the Rams and Philly game. Uh, I think that's going to help a lot. I think getting Everson Griffin back at some point will make a difference. Obviously, is one of the best pass rushers in the league. Um, I just think, honestly, the biggest problem from somebody watching it, I feel like a lot of the problem come, falls on the slot corner. Young guys who are a lot of miscommunications, busted coverages. Doesn't seem like we can't keep up anymore, we're too slow, or uh, we're too behind. It just seems like we don't know what we're doing. And I think those are at least fixable mistakes, so I hope that's the case. Kirk Cousins is gonna keep doing what he's doing. As long as the interior of the offensive line can hold up, I think we'll in a good spot. We do have to run the ball a lot better. Um, continually running the ball for 20 yards a game is not going to cut it. Uh, we're going to have to start to run the ball, especially come playoff time. But not time to totally panic yet. But to your point, um, for a Super Bowl contending team, uh, it's starting to get a little concerning. Yeah, and the, the record itself, you said 13 wins only got us a two seed. The record itself doesn't really concern me as much, although 
a loss to LA, that could be someone we're fighting with seeding for late in the season. But the loss itself doesn't bother me, it's how we're losing. Like, we're only really a half game behind where I thought we would be, even when I thought we were gonna win 12 games. Cause I didn't think we'd, I thought we would start two and two. A loss in Green Bay and a loss in LA. That loss in Buffalo is concerning and the way we're losing, these games are way higher scoring than I expected what I thought a great defense would be this year. So it, again, if Zimmer can adjust, which he's been good at, then um, and the defense figures it out, then I think this team will be just fine. But for a Super Bowl contending team, yes, this is very concerning. Well, hopefully we uh, get it figured out here. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think. What's your level of concern for the Vikings right now through four weeks? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.